Let me explain why I want to start Diablo 4 in hardcore mode. Think of how exciting it will be to have a brand new game, a fresh start, and absolutely no idea what's coming my way. Honestly, how often do you get chances like this? Diablo 3 came out 11 years ago. I didn't even think to start on hardcore back then. But I am not missing my chance this time. You only really get that first playthrough type experience once. After you've seen all the bosses and surprises the game throws your way, the feeling changes entirely. So let's take a few minutes, let's think out loud, and discuss why I think starting in hardcore is the way to go on day one. Imagine having to actually fear the boss that you're about to fight. It isn't a simple, oh well, I died, let's respawn and kill him now that we know all the mechanics. You have to be locked in and ready to fight the first time. Your heart rate goes up a little bit. Your hands get a little bit sweaty. You've put a lot of time into this character. You don't want to just die, do you? Were you a bit shook up when the butcher just showed up during the beta? Imagine the entire game like that. That's the feeling that I'm shooting for here. That's why I want to play day one hardcore. People might say, well, what if you die early, man? You'll be way behind everyone else. And I counter that point by saying, so what? There isn't a ladder or season at launch. There's no ranking system. There's no rush to get through the game. Of course, we all want to see what is hiding in the late game, and it would suck to die early, but that's part of the challenge and excitement. I don't mind restarting and trying again, taking a different path, playing a different class. We all explore the game in different ways and at different speeds, and this is a first playthrough experience that can only happen once. Hardcore just doesn't feel as hardcore to me when I know exactly what's coming. Yes, you still need to execute the game plan and survive, but there's just way less risk involved when you know all the mechanics that are going to be laid out in front of you. Without a doubt, one of my favorite parts about hardcore mode is that every stat matters. On a normal character, everyone just pumps out as much damage as possible, everyone is a glass cannon, no one gives a shit about dying, but with hardcore mode, you suddenly start to value the defensive skills and stats that you would normally ignore. I love that it opens up all sorts of new builds and ideas. Legendary aspects that no one would touch in normal mode are fantastic in hardcore. Skills that no one would put on their bar suddenly find a place. You're searching for items with damage reduction and resists. Even things like the Paragon board nodes for life percentage, resists, and armor now hold a lot of value. I honestly feel like this is the way the game was intended to be played. In hardcore mode, you need to craft a more balanced character, and I think with Diablo 4 that holds more weight than ever before. Boss fights aren't so stompy, combat is a bit slower and more thoughtful. I'm looking for steady and safe progression. I don't need to fly through the game. Finding the sweet spot between speed and survivability is going to be a huge factor in how successful I am with this blind run. You'll see in some of my upcoming videos what I'm talking about. I'll be using a lot of skills, aspects, and paragon boards that no one else is going to be using. It feels way more diverse and unique, like it's literally my build. It's nice to not pick all the same shit that everyone else is using in normal mode, but I honestly cannot decide what class to start with. I'm literally sitting awake at night, contemplating the pros and cons of all this crap. I'm messing with builds for a tank barb, a frost sorceress, a werebear druid, a blood necromancer, even some kind of tanky rogue build. It's harder than ever to decide because it's a blind run, and I don't know what the hell's coming for me. This entire experience will be a test of not only my skills as a player, but also my ability to build characters that aren't garbage. A lot of it comes down to how far you want to push it and how close to the limit you can get. Imagine going blind into a world boss on hardcore mode. Who is going to risk that? We know how Oshava works, but what about the next boss? Would you want a world first hardcore kill? Hell yeah, I know I do. Am I going to attempt it? Hell no. Besides avoiding world bosses, I will be chasing down a lot of the hardcore achievements. I've always been that type of gamer where I want the rare title or mount or something that no one else hardly has. Now, one of my sort of cringe takes on hardcore mode is that you feel a deeper connection to your character. 
you're starting this journey with this character that you created and it just feels a bit more organic and personal when they can be taken from you in the blink of an eye. You mess up, they're dead and gone. Back to square one. Most people would consider it wasted time to sink 50 hours into a character and lose it, but that threat is my reason to play. Another huge plus for me is that the hardcore community is much smaller than the normal one. It reminds me of my time playing Dark Age of Camelot 22 years ago. Everyone knew everyone on the server, and I honestly think that might be possible at launch in Diablo 4. There won't be many of us wandering around the world, so you'll take note of who you do see. The random world events create great opportunities to meet new players and potentially form groups or alliances. There's a clan system for a reason, and I feel like that's amplified in Hardcore. I am a little disappointed that the PvP zones in Hardcore mode are permanent death as well. I mean, it's really cool on one hand that even PvP is this crazy, risky thing to do, but I feel like no one's going to do it because of that, especially early on in the game, so it's a little bit off-putting. Perhaps in the future they will make a certain zone or something that maybe won't follow those permanent death rules, but we'll see. Honestly, other than maybe avoiding PvP early on, I can't think of many reasons not to start in hardcore mode. I get it, everyone's playing the game differently, and I'm definitely not trying to shit on anyone who just wants to play normal mode and have fun their own way. I guess I just think this is a really unique and badass sort of thing to try out, and it goes without saying that I cannot wait to dig into the real game and start playing for keeps. I feel like they've really nailed the tone and feel of D4, and the late game mechanics and replayability sound very promising. It doesn't really matter how you play the game. I think we can all agree that it's going to be incredible. And look, if you can think of any reason I shouldn't start on hardcore mode, I would love to hear it. And just so you guys know, I'm going to try and release a few videos before the game launches where I discuss some random theoretical builds for hardcore characters. Thanks for watching this video, see you in the next one.